Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to build a new mini 3 inch quadcopter using this very unique frame from iFlight. This is the iFlight Rhino 3 3 inch carbon frame. As you can see it has this very interesting canopy which is made out of molded carbon and I think it's probably the most beautiful frame that I've seen. Hopefully it's not going to be too heavy and the entire setup is going to handle it well. In addition I'm going to use the XJBF428 all in one stack. I already got the XT30 connector and the receiver wires soldered. I'm going to use an X4R receiver, a 600 TV line micro CCD camera from Dayton. This is the sniper micro camera. As for motors, I'm going to use motors from iFlight as well. These are 1407, 4100 kV motors. I got one set as a general rule it's good to buy five motors instead of four because sometimes things go wrong and it might postpone your build process because you bought only four. Anyway, I got only four, it's my mistake. And for propellers, I'm going to use this Nazgul 3061 propellers also from iFlight RC. If you're curious about the weight of this frame, it's 55.6 gram. So it's definitely not going to be a very light build. And it's also not a cheap one, but I think the entire structure of this frame is going to make this quadcopter a very durable one. So let's start building this quadcopter. So the quadcopter is ready and you might notice that I had to change one of the motors because even though I recommend you in the beginning of the video to get five motors, unfortunately I didn't. I got only four motors and this motor is defective. I did a continuity test and one of the wires is disconnected. I told iFlight RC about it and probably they're going to send me a new one instead. But I don't want to wait for another three weeks before I will take it for a test flight. So I'm going to try flying it with this motor and even though this is a 2800 kV motor and these are 4100 kV motors hopefully the flight controller is going to compensate and we'll see how it will go and if it's not going to fly well I'm going to post another video with the corrected motor. I also had to change the camera, I couldn't use the micro CCD camera because it was deep inside you could see the inner parts of the quadcopter so I had to use the Runcam Swift mini. We can also use a full-sized camera but you won't be able to use micro CCD cameras with this frame unless you're going to modify the mount and move it closer to this part over here. The micro USB port is accessible from this part and in order to place the micro USB port behind this hole I had to change the direction of the flight controller and I had to remap the motors as well. You can click this video up over here that will point you to my explanation on how to remap motors on Betaflight. The weight of this quadcopter is 177.1 grams so this is definitely not a light 3 inch build but you can see that it's built like a tank that's why it's so heavy. I'm going to perform the test flights with two batteries. The first one is the CNHL 650 mAh LiPo 4S battery. The weight including this battery is 268.1 grams. And I'm also going to test it out with this 3S battery from GNB. It's a 450 mAh LiPo battery and the weight is going to be 226 grams. So the next thing I'm going to do is to take it outdoors and see how it performs and hopefully it's going to fly well even though I'm not using the same motor over here. If you have any questions about this build feel free to ask it in the comment section below and I'll see you soon on my next videos. Goodbye.
kitchen floor It seems like you can't take no more I'm sorry but when my hands and stars I just can't get enough I'll match you up and tie you down So you'll be here, won't sneak around I'll let you up Day and night I'm running, running for you Gotta move, don't want no right 